Hello and welcome to Area DMG. I'm your host, Phil Wesley, the Mile High Mouth. Today is January 24th, 2014. And well, let's see, what are we going to discuss today? Well, the real quick news is that um, Renegade Kid, the makers of Mutant Muds, and um, Moon, Dementium, the upcoming Colt County, etc., etc., announced Moon Chronicles for the Nintendo 3DS. It will be available in a season type set where here's the first couple episodes for a small price. Here's the next couple episodes for additional prices and such. Now, um, we're taping this over here at the um, apartment mainly because um, there's there's long stories behind all that. And it's, it's been a while since we've done a um, video. Sorry about that, but um, we will be doing some more videos in the future. Um, one of them, we're going to be talking a little bit about region locking on the DS. DSi and the 3DS, as well as um, we will be covering a couple other things. Like, for example, we may not be covering Anime Land Wasabi this year, so I will make a video about that explaining why. It's something really weird. And um, pretty much what happened was um, somebody from some group like Busted Digital or Broken Analog or something, apparently somebody representing that said something to a voice actor, and then when confronted about it, the other person from that group said that we said it, which is weird and vindictive and really, really petty. In fact, like, if it were up to me, I would have already fired the person who said that. But it's not up to me because, you know. But then we will also be covering a couple games. We're gonna, we have a GoPro and stuff in. I'm doing this off the webcam because it's easier to upload it to YouTube. But we got a GoPro. We're going to be doing some stuff with that footage. And we're going to be doing higher definition videos. 4K. 4K. Um, as far as other news, Nintendo had a slight stock dip um, a couple, um, couple days back. I think last Tuesday? Yeah, it was last Tuesday or Thursday. They had a um, part where their their stock nosedived down 18%, then climbed back up to end the day down 6%. Then in the following days after that, rose 8%, etc., etc. Meaning that for a while people were like, Nintendo is doomed, and it really wasn't anything. Yeah, we'll also be covering um, a Radio DMG. We'll be talking a little bit about stuff, and we're gonna be recording it. We're going to doing, be doing a lot more video coverage, so look forward to that. And then there's some interesting stuff that we will talk about in depth in other videos, mainly the um, current issues with Animation is Art, to some extent. There's some of it we can talk about. And then um, the upcoming Radio DMG Indiegogo, where we just need to raise like 100 bucks because the, um, the, the bill for the... Um, to keep it going for another year comes due near the end of February. So I, I was like, well, let's see. I need to raise about 60 bucks. So, okay, we'll do something for that. We'll put that up there. Now, keep in mind that with Indiegogo, the minimum we can put up for something is 500. So we'll put up something at some point to raise the about 60 to 100 bucks that we need to keep um, Radio DMG going for another year. And episode 39 of Radio DMG will be up either the 25th or the 26th of this month, and please look forward to that. We have some images and stuff up, and we will have reviews coming up before the end of the month for quite a few different games, as well as I will be recording a little bit, um, actually a long thing about my impressions on Bravely Default. Not the final review game, because, um, well, I've been too busy to... I was too busy to actually send in a request for that, but I'll see what I can do. Other than that, um, the demo you should really check out, that's on there now. Um, oh, Pokemon Bank went back online in Japan, and it looks like we're going to get that sometime in the middle of February. Hopefully before our next Street Pass Aurora event, which if you're following us on Facebook, you know all the details about. The last Street Pass Aurora actually had over 40 people show up to it. Excellent. And, uh, well, that's pretty much it. You are now caught up.